value from being a host of Contact Source is really the one-on-one -on -one connections that we get from these events. I mean, these are small, intimate events where we have the ability to uh, speak to people one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's private equity, you know, investment banker, a lawyer. These are all folks that are helpful for me and my business as we're looking to grow. And so really coming out here on the rooftop and seeing this beautiful environment and speaking with people, even for, for 15 or 20 minutes, you can't replace that. Uh, at, whether it's an ACG event or an AA event, you know, these are all events where there's hundreds, if not thousands of people, and you're all fighting to talk to the same person. So really being here, those one-on-one -on -one talks, uh, even if it's a short amount of time, hugely beneficial for my business and for what we're trying to do in our group. Post-COVID, I think the biggest change, people are very hesitant to come to these types of events. So there has to be uh, a reason or a benefit in their mind to coming out and interacting with people, even if it's outdoors and theoretically in a safe environment. There has to be someone that they know is going to be there that they can meet and interact with uh, after this event that's going to be beneficial for them. So again, I think it's just really reiterating for these folks that are coming, this is why you want to come, these are the people that you're going to meet, and this is why it's beneficial for you to spend an hour or two outside in a safe environment like this and, and meet with these people and talk with them. And you can't replace this over Zoom or Teams or anything on the computer, which is impossible. I mean, I think initially the reasons people wouldn't show up is just fear of interacting with people. I mean, even back in June or July, when we were talking about doing an in-person event, and I reached out to some folks, it was no way. You know, it's too soon. The rates are still too high to, to come, even if it's a small group. Now I think it's okay. We might want to. We might be interested, but again, who's going to be there? Why should I kind of make this trek down and spend an hour um, in a, in person? You know, who's going to be there that I can meet? Uh, so I think it's really just convincing people to come out and talk face to face with people. That's really a challenge right now, and that might be true for the next few months. But hopefully, people get more comfortable interacting outside and, and with other folks that are beneficial for the business. But it, it is a tough challenge to get people to come out for sure. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's free beer, absolutely, <laughs> I will be here. But uh, no, I, I mean, I think as long as the weather holds up, we can do this in a safe way and uh, keep it to a small, you know, 10 to 15 people, being able to socially distance. Yeah, I'd love to. I mean, we've all been stuck in our homes in front of computers for so long that just the ability to come out to the city and interact with some folks for a couple hours, I, I look forward to continuing to do that for sure. Yeah, so from an ROI perspective, look, I mean, when you think about one transaction, even if I just get one transaction, and that's, say, a $50,000 transaction, I mean, that's 10 times my ROI right there. And we've already met people that have given us, I'd say, five or six deals out of this. So, I mean, from an ROI perspective, you can't you can't be doing this versus ACG, which might be, you know, $10,000 for one event, $100,000 or more for, for more events. Uh, doing this is just hugely beneficial from an ROI perspective, for sure. The human interaction is still here, it's through a computer, but I think it's really finding one or two people that you trust and, and, and finding ways to work together, finding ways to cross-pollinate your networks, even if it's through a computer, right? I mean, it's not the same as coming face-to-face -face with people, but you can still meet new people over computers, still communicate with people over a phone call. So that opportunity is still there. So I think for young folks, again, it's just finding one or two, three people that you trust, that you enjoy interacting with, and finding ways to work together, finding ways to meet new people through their networks that are going to be beneficial for you. It still can be done. It's not as easy sometimes, but uh, it, it's still something that's important. And post-COVID, when this is all over, we can all meet. You know, we're all going to have to find ways to meet together in person and interact. So it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge, but it can be done.